Good morning, my name is Christelle from Franz de Klerk Independent Technical Analysts. The first one on our list to discuss this week is Sabanya. And we can see that the share is nicely oversold, which makes the probability for a bounce to higher levels more likely. However, there is an ugly head and shoulder formation that was confirmed now when that neckline, and I'm going to give you that exact level now, changed into a resistance. And that neckline is waiting at 36 rand 39. Now, investors might want to make use of this oversold situation to buy the share, and especially once that positive divergence comes into play where that blue line breaks upwards through the orange line. Now, the full target of this ugly head and shoulder formation is the full length of the head projected downwards from the neckline can take it possibly back to 20 rand 69. It's not a guarantee it did, and it doesn't mean it has to do that. Hopefully, before it does that, investors will make use of this um, oversold situation to start to buy the share. Obviously, the stronger end is not helping at the moment. And hopefully it can get above that um, 36, 39 level of the neckline and especially that 40 week moving average that gets represented by the red line, a critical level that needs to change into a support in order to sustain the long term, long term sentiment. Why do I say that? We can see in the past that the share struggled to keep this level a support and every time it changed it into a resistance, we experienced a massive sell off and some serious profit taking. First sign of strength for me will only be above that neckline 36.39. I would be careful to buy it in the dips at the moment because of that head and shoulder formation. Unless you're very brave, then even I would use only last week's high 35.64. Buy above that, stop loss 3170, and hopefully it can take us back to that 40 week moving average, waiting at 41 Rand 55. Angler Gold was also one that was asked for a couple of times. Um, ticker on our exchange ANG. And many of our gold shares look has, has mirrored this picture. We're seeing higher lows either shooting star candles or hanging mans where there's tails at the top of the candles and now it looks like the share price the rising to the top is losing steam my stochastic is sitting on a 62 and we can see clear negative divergence it looks like it wants to it wanted to there in the 22nd of may week wanted to maybe turn around but then clearly not enough buyers and then the profit taking to the bottom continued now the critical level of support that needs to hold in place on Anglo Gold is waiting at 455 Rand 16. Let's hope that buyers start to protect the share. Strong resistance is waiting at 497.05. At this stage, profit taking might be on the cards for many investors because of the lower highs. They're nervous that the share might even decline lower. And if we look at the line graph, it's becoming even more evident. Every time the share bounce, the highs will lower and lower. And it will be interesting to see that should this bounce not change that previous resistance into a support and keep, keeps it a resistance, that will be the third time that a lower high is confirmed, which will be seen as very negative. Um, my 40 week moving average is still a support waiting at 362 Rand 30, which means the long term sentiment towards Anglo gold is still in place. Something else to note is the fact that the record high um, or the 52 week high on the 2nd of May this year was at 556 Rand 88. That was a little bit lower than that previous record high in July 2020 of 637.35. That for the long term investor is not a good indication on the weekly graph of Anglo Gold. Exaro, one that, um, that many are keen of because of the oversold situation at the moment. The stochastic is nicely sitting on a 34. I've got a positive divergence and a beautiful dragonfly candle in the week of the 29th of May. After the profit taking, the share pulled back 
and that long tail at the bottom of the candle implies that they were informed capital investors that bought the dips and that is seen as positive my strong resistance that needs to be overcome is waiting at 176.40 nothing wrong if you want to buy at current levels with the higher lows on the shadows of the last three weeks keep in mind these are weekly graphs so this candle needs to this candle the last candle will only be finished by friday's close so if you are a long-term investor the textbooks say wait for the weekly graph to finish friday's close make your decision over the weekend and then buy on the monday my 40-week moving average is still a resistance waiting at 201 rand 13 that is a critical level that needs to change into a support in order to sustain the long-term momentum to the top but many investors might want to make use of this oversold situation on a commodity share like exoro to to buy um glasgow smith klein listed on the new york stock exchange in the new uh, in the um, in the us was another one that was asked for nicely oversold stochastic positive divergence on the brink of taking place and very important look now for three weeks the share has tested the 40-week moving average that red line and kept it a support especially in that week of the 30th of may that long tail at the bottom of that candle implies that as soon as the share price pulled back there were investors to accumulate it and take it to higher levels and that is seen as positive we can possibly see a beautiful cup and handle formation my lines are still wobbling at them i still don't know why that is happening so i need to this can be a beautiful cup and handle formation i'm going to disregard that massive tail there because i want the cup and handle to touch the neckline so i've got a loop there and a second one that can represent the handle of the formation that can take this share price to higher levels especially with my stochastic being in this oversold territory while the s p 500 the index itself is extremely overboard at the moment so maybe a little bit more um um uh, you know position size be aware of your position size because of the s p 500 being so overbought but an oversold situation nevertheless and a dragonfly candle and support for the last four weeks on the 40 week moving average is good indications stop loss that you can use possible strong support waiting at 32 dollars 97 and that strong neckline waiting at 38 dollars 32 is the first level of resistance that needs to be overcome and that will confirm that positive cap and handle formation that can take the share price of glasgow smith klein a lot higher the optimism around this cup and handle formation will be off the table when that low part of the handle waiting at $33.33 starts to change into a resistance. Then all the optimist, optimism will be off the table and then we can assume more profit taking and that the momentum to the top can escalate and um, bottom can escalate. And Macy's also another one that was spotted nicely oversold. Thank you, Gavin beautiful positive divergence for upside again another dragonfly candle with a long tail at the bottom implying that there was enough buyers and informed capital to accumulate on the dips to take the share price higher you know by now we keep on saying no matter how um profitable um or a healthy a company might look at it on its financial statements if there's not enough buyers of that share the share price won't rise so and the technical graph show us when the buyers start to nibble or accumulate the share beautiful high lows on the lowest shadows the last three weeks and nice target look at that a window at on a weekly graph a nice magnet that can act as a target should the momentum to the top continue and that window is waiting between $19.23 and $19.49 a window or a gap is literally a space between two candles and the rules around windows are they always needs to get closed it can take days months weeks or even decades and the longer the time frame of the graph which in this case is a weekly graph the heavier the weight of the window 
meaning it can easily the probability of it to close becomes even higher so nice target for those of you who want to make use of this opportunity i mean with all the volatility i would give some space there um at 12 for 54 as a possible stop loss level but a nice oversold situation still a lot of room on my stochastic for upside before it comes becomes overboard and obviously that 40 week moving average a critical level that needs to change into support 19 dollars at 23 again maybe just want to prove and go back to history and show that this double top formation and once that 40 week moving average changed into a resistance the bell on Macy's rang. It was the warning for investors to say, listen, if you are in a profit, take it because the, the, the sellers are going to get stuck in there and take this share price lower. And boy, that they not take it all the way back to lower than $14. If we go back and um, we'll see that $14 was the same level it traded back in January 2021 nice um two shares that one can use for on the us exchange that are currently oversold if you don't forget to send through your requests for next week's talking technical technical either via twitter or email admin at have a fantastic week take care